Just to outline my drum production, sample selection, and kind of sequencing in this track, we're going to walk through some things here. Um, the first thing I did was created a percussion track. Um, I utilized all sounds from splice sounds, mostly from the crane kit and uh, medicine kit. Um, I've created a shortcut in my places to those packs here. Um, I started with the percussion track, so let's just play back a segment of that. Um, there's another sampled percussion track here, which we're actually going to get to in a later video. Um, and then I've separated my kick and snare just so I can process them separately. Um, kick is here and snare here. Um, so I've done a little bit of mixing with these two. You can see some plugins on the end of them. I'm actually going to cover that in the next part, in part three. Um, right now we're just going to talk about sample selection. So when I'm selecting samples, um, I try to find a great kick and snare sample to start with, and then something that resembles a hi-hat. I'm always thinking about a drum set, the uh, main three things that I use, kick, snare, and hi-hat. So in this, I kind of have this constant hi-hat pattern going. This guy right here. And then in addition to that, I have some kind of accenting percussion sounds some of which I've affected or maybe sent to a reverb. Um, you can check it out in the session. Mostly similar sounds, but kind of creating this palette of percussive sounds that I can decorate the main hi-hat pattern with. And that's what I want to emphasize is that I always have kind of a main hi-hat pattern. If you stripped everything else away, and you can see I even have actually muted some parts that I originally had in here. Um, you can strip things back and then still have kind of a core groove underneath everything. Um, playing in the kick and snare is optional. Um, it depends on how you like to work. You know, you could use a MIDI controller or a keyboard and play those things in, or you could just sequence them if you understand the timing well enough. You could create a clip and just go in and double click these things and just you know create a sequence. Um, with percussion, I really like to play something in because it gives it a human feel um, and really gives you the kind of, even if you quantize something, gives you the kind of um, natural rhythm that you would play if you were sitting down at a drum set. You're less likely to create something contrived and more likely to create something natural. Um, so that's what I did for this. I played in the percussion on Ableton Push 2. And then I actually drew in the uh, kick and snare drum just based on a pattern that I was hearing when I was recording the percussion. Everything else in the track is kind of a different variation of that groove, keeping a uh, similar kind of underlying feel going throughout the track, but then creating variations of that for each section. So feel free to explore those and uh, maybe even try changing the patterns and uh, changing the feel of the track too.